Hi everyone, it's Chloe here and I'm the owner, making creator of Emmy Creations. Welcome back to my channel. So as you know, I have been designing a lot in the background, um, especially if you follow me on Instagram, you have noticed that I have released some patterns. I have also um, already sent some patterns to testing and I've also revealed a new design as well. But there's actually one more design that I haven't revealed because I haven't made it yet and I haven't designed it yet. So I thought would bring you guys along on the journey of design, des designing this very last um, character for my uh, Kawaii Yummy series. For the last, I think, week or two, I've just been making and designing a lot. So, and I've been spending a lot of time pulling things apart, seeing if things work or not, um, and writing the patterns down in my book and then digitalizing it on the computer. So, Right now, I have this last design, which is going to be of a taiyaki. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's actually like a, it's a Japanese pastry. It's usually of a fish and inside they usually put like red bean um, paste. Some people put ice cream in there with the red beans. Um, so I'm going to do one where it's an ice cream bed placed inside the taiyaki uh, pastry. And I'll have some dango and some um, really cute Japanese cake pieces that will be inside the fish as well. Um, so yeah, it's a very detailed design and it's probably, probably one of the most detailed designs I've ever drawn up and yet to do. <laughs> so I think I've been delaying it to, to the last one because I know how complex it is because of all because of how many components there are. In terms of making the toys, I know that it's just using, it's just going to be using, you know, the single crochet stitch mostly, um, but it's just a lot of components to bring together to create this one piece. So I'm really excited. Um, I know that it's going to take probably a few days to design so I want to document this process and also share this process with you guys. So I think enough chit chat from myself. I think I should really get started on this design and so yeah anyways let's get started. <laughs> So before I start, I thought I'll just show you a really quick picture of what I had drew up. Um, and this is the taiyaki that I am talking about. So there's the fish with a lot of detail, the ice cream there, which I don't think the shape um, of the ice cream will be sitting behind it. I'm thinking of making it as an ice cream hat sitting on top of the bear. And then obviously I'll have these extra components in as well but this is essentially the design that I drew up um, as you can see there's some sakura flowers as well because when I went to Japan it was sakura season and we had a lot of sakura desserts so that is the reason why I have to design one um, one thing that represented my trip and this is that piece so I am really hoping it will turn out the way I want it but this is the um, drawing version of that design. So I'm really excited. And right now I'm just going to go in and pick out my yarn and fingers crossed that I have enough yarn. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get started on making this cutie. Okay, guys. So I started with the bear first only because it is the same pattern that I used for the um, curry bear and also the tamaki bear. So I decided to use the same pattern but just to change the colors around um so this didn't take me too long um but now i'm just going to sew them together and hopefully can start on the taiyaki um soon once i've sewed all these pieces on and i can make my calculations on how big the taiyaki actually is Okay guys, so here is the completed bear, which 
looks so cute on its own. So now I'm going to make the ice cream top, which will be its hat. Um, and I'm thinking of using a light pink, so something that's lighter than this. And I will make a ice cream hat. Um, and then once I've done that, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do the dango, the cake, and the waffle stick as well. So let's see how that goes. And then maybe once those are done, then I will start doing the, the taiyaki. Okay guys, so I've just made the dango, a waffle stick biscuit, and I actually ended up making a little strawberry instead of a cake. I tried to make the cake, but I just could not get the shape to how I wanted it, so I thought I would make a pink strawberry, which they have in Japan, and they are very sweet and very delicious. So. I thought I would add a strawberry instead of a piece of cake, but now I'm going to sew these guys onto the head of the bear. Okay guys, so I have just sewed all those little bits on and I am so happy with how it turned out. I also added some speckles onto the ice cream hat as well and I'm actually thinking of adding some speckles to the body just to give it a bit more... I guess texture I guess um, because it looks a bit plain a little bit boring compared to the other bears so I'm going to probably use a light brown yarn and just um, embroider some speckles onto the uh, bottom half of the body and now that this guy is done I can probably sound the taiyaki um, which I'm a bit nervous about because I'm still a little unsure how I'm going to make it. But I guess, you know, I just have to get started on that. So I'm going to embroider the speckles first and then I'll get started on the taiyaki. Okay, so I've done the tail. It took me a bit of time to figure out how I wanted, to t wanted the tail to be. I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be plump or flat, but I opted for the flat version because I felt like that looked better um i did the plump one first where i put filling in and i just thought this does not look right because a fish that the tail the tail of a fish is not usually plump it's usually fat so which is why i opted for that so now i'm gonna keep going um and keep crocheting and create its body Okay guys, I literally just pulled apart what I did with the taiyaki and essentially started again because I wasn't liking how the tail was looking and I feel like I did a miscalculation with the rounds as well. So I basically started again. I think I'm liking this a little bit more. I kind of, the shape is looking a little bit different to the first um, try that I did so let's see if this turns out better than last test okay guys so it is the next day and I am really unsure about this I'm not liking how the tail is when I place the stuffing in um, so the tail is going to be similar to how I made the curry one where there's an extra bit that goes in and then the bear will sit inside it and there will be the stuffing on the bottom to bring out the plumpness. Um, but right now when I place the stuffing in, the tail does this weird little thing. So I'm starting to think I should probably revert back to 
probably making the tail plump instead of flat um, just so that I can avoid this happening and see how that goes which means I need to take all of this out <laughs> Uh, I don't want to do it but I think I have to um but yeah it is what it is I've I've gotten the pattern written down already so I can fix this and hopefully just keep what I've done so far and also realize that I probably don't need this extra line of front loops uh visible um and the reason why I have these front loops is that this is going to be where the scales are going to be added um, later on in the pattern. So that's also something that I need to change. But right now I need to take all of this apart and start again. So honestly, this is not fun to do because I did spend a few hours figuring this out. But honestly, you know, your first second or even your third attempts when designing does not always um, become the final product. I think this is my second attempt. So pulling this apart, I'm going to be attempting a third time with this Taiyaki piece. So hopefully now that I've tested two options, now I'm going to try the third option and see how that works. And Hopefully I won't have to be frogging it out again, but this is what it is. But honestly, this, um, I don't know if you can hear this, but it's quite satisfying even though it's really sad. <laughs> oh my God. Seriously, taking it out is so much faster than crocheting all these stitches. Um, but it is what it is. If I'm not happy with a pattern, then this is what happens. I pull it all apart and I start again. So this is the reality of designing um, and it's unpredictable. Sometimes what you have in mind does not turn out the way you want it and then you need to make adjustments. And the only way to do that is to start again and pull out um, your design. So this is what's happening here right now so sad oh my god guys this literally took me three minutes less than three minutes to pull apart and it took me three hours to crochet oh man <laughs> good news is I can keep these so I'm going to keep using those and figure out where to go from there. But one tail is free. And that's the second tail. And I need to start again. So today's Friday. I'm thinking I might take a break and maybe start fresh next week on this pattern I don't know but I'll see how I go today but I just took it all apart and I'm just left with two tail pieces Okay guys, so it is a new week and a new day and I have finally figured out what my taiyaki is going to look like. And this is what I've done over the weekend um, and I am so much happier with this design in terms of how the tail came and how the body shape looks. Um, so yes, yeah, so I did this over the weekend. Um, you know, just while watching TV, watching a movie or watching my hubby play his new game. Um, so I'm going to keep working on this. So what I have left to do is to crochet and morph the scales, um, the front and the back. And I need to create the fins 
and um, it's flipper as well. So I'm hoping that I will be able to finish this baby in, I don't know, a few hours maybe. Today's actually a long weekend, so I was hoping that I wouldn't have to work too much today. Um, it's actually already 12 here. It's already 12. Um, just came back from a walk uh, with hubby and captain. So, so kind of already doing a late start anyways but I'm gonna get started on this and I love that the time was the time I finally figured it out so I'm gonna keep going and hopefully I'll finish this pattern soon Okay guys, so I have made all the little pieces, so the fins and the eyes and this bit which I don't really know the technical name for it, but I will google and find out. But I have made all these pieces and I've just pinned them into place onto the taiyaki and it is looking good. Um, just got a lot of yarn tails floating around so I'm going to sew these pieces down and see what the final look is. I've also placed the bear inside the taiyaki and it is looking very cute. Um, and the other thing I still need to do is just to embroider some details on the tail, similar to what I did here with the fins. Um, and I'm still thinking about whether I make an extra little piece down here, but I will see once I sew all the other little pieces down and We'll see where we go from there, but it is coming together slowly. So I'm just in the bedroom and I'm kind of whispering a little bit because my hubby is on the phone while playing games and because like I said it's actually a public holiday today so I'm letting him have his freedom and enjoy his time but I just wanted to say it's finally done. I'm finally done with the Taiyaki bear design and I am so happy with how it's turned out. I was quite worried about how it was going to look and in terms of like how many times I had to pull the body apart just to get it to the right shape and everything. But I got there. I finally got there, guys. And, you know, it doesn't match the drawing, but the idea of it is exactly how I wanted. Um, this toy, looking back on my camera roll, because I was taking photos as I was designing and just seeing the date that I started and the date that I finished, this toy took me five, oh no, six days. And obviously I didn't work every hour of those days designing this, but if I was to add the hours together, it will probably come up to, you know, 45 to 50 hours of designing and making and writing the pattern down in my book. So now that this is done. I need to digitalize the pattern and then send it off to my testers and then I can hopefully, you know, publish the pattern within the next couple of weeks, I think. I think this because this is a pretty complex design, I'll probably allow my testers two weeks to test, but I'm just so glad that this design is done and I am happy with the results and like my other toys this bear pops out 
of its taiyaki and it can be its own separate thing and it's quite cute on its own honestly I actually am obsessed with how it is and I really like um the little bears that I've done uh, for this series because they are actually so cute and so round and it just I don't know it just worked so well so I am really excited about this final design and who knows I might design a volume two maybe in the future but volume one is complete now and I just need to go and get this baby digitalized and hopefully you guys will have access to that pattern very soon. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, so if you have any questions about my design process and um, or just any other questions regarding this video, don't forget to put them in the comments below and I'll try and respond as soon as I can. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, or even if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel for some great content that's coming. Um, but otherwise, I really hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!